Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Rachel Castile, and today I'm going to talk about I choose to live out loud and embrace my joy, my passion, um, my voice, a lot of things. But I choose to live out loud. I choose to live on camera. I choose to know that I'm enough and know that I'm qualified. And I just want to share this with you and I pray that this is encouraging to you. Um, just to embrace who you are, to love who you are, to love what you have to say. So um, my journey with being on camera has been a long one. I started out making videos in a photo booth, which is a Mac application where you can sit there on your laptop and talk to yourself. And I did that um, back in high school. I had a lot of anxiety and like pent up things. I felt like I needed to talk and I began to talk to myself. Then I began to talk to my mom. Then I began to explore business, went to training events and all kinds of stuff. And I started on a journey, but my joy was still locked down. I was afraid of being criticized. I was afraid of not being supported, of being rejected. And for the longest that affected me sharing my joy, sharing my passion, sharing what I see, sharing my vision, um, living my potential out, right? And um, being in the space that brings me joy. So being on camera brings me a lot of joy. Uh, being in community brings me a lot of joy. Um, what else? <laughs> the little, the inner child that I am, I'm very silly and giddy and inquisitive, curious, ambitious, I'm a lot of things, but <laughs> um, yeah, my heart is really to build community. And I wrote, I talked about this in my last video, uh, a couple videos ago, but I saw myself having multiple communities that I would be changing people's lives. And I'm being changed by the communities that I'm hosting as well. And um, I just think there's something um, incredible as I show up and as other people show up and as we show up together. I've seen God do so much in RC Fellowship, by the way. That's a Discord server group, which I love so very much. Um, we meet every Saturday, 10 a.m. Central Time, and I've met incredible people from totally different parts of the world that are really a part of my life that I hold dear and I'm grateful for the conversations I have and I grow every single time that we get to fellowship and um, that's been a start for me that like in stepping into that like I had so many insecurities coming up I would talk to them about them and just like it's been incredible like this healing empowering stepping into truth out of lies like living from the right identity of who I really am you know and um, just this perfectionism and like this criticalness that I've lived under of um, criticizing how I show up. And it's been a journey. The more I've made videos, the more I'm starting to see the value in my own voice, my own way of saying things, my quirkiness, my mistakes, um, my I can't remember words stuff. Uh, <laughs> me being very technical minded in a sense. but. Yeah, I really love this and I just, I choose to live out loud. I choose to be present and I want to be there for you guys. If there's anything like you want to talk about or you want to leave a comment or you want to hear more about, um, I'd love the interaction. I'd love the feedback of um, things I've talked about that you're like, hey, clarify this. Like I can do a video, you know, um, but I, I just want this channel to be more interactive and I... I am opening myself up more is what I feel is what this video is about. I choose to live out loud. I choose to share my passion. I choose to share my joy, my vision, my life. Um, I just know that we're all carriers of life. And if you put a lid on life, that's no good. That's a miserable existence, right? We're, we're made to live, to thrive, to share life. And um, I really believe that. I believe in and just this free flow of the spirit, the free flow of who we are. Um, I just 
I'm receiving a phone call. I get distracted kind of easily. Uh, I am back. But um, yeah, I've just been thinking about like um, getting beyond rejection. That's been a big thing that held me back for a long time. The fear of it. Um, the fear of being perceived in such a way that I don't want to be or the fear of being misunderstood, things of that nature. And for so long, that really held me back. Um, and I just realized how unreal that stuff really is. That like something I posted today on Facebook about um, uh, that purpose goes beyond rejection. Like it doesn't, rejection doesn't stop purpose and uh, something along those lines. And I'm starting to see that like it's a choice that I think we all have the potential to be visionaries, to be influencers. Um, when we choose to just like push through, break through that, it feels like something breaking in my soul that um, had me tethered to that. It was like the, the thing I cannot handle is what I experienced it to be. And I think this has a lot to do with being an Enneagram too. The, the biggest fear that I would avoid is being rejected, um, being unwanted, not supported, things of that nature. And man, to feel myself break in the way I never want it to break. It's breaking into freedom. It's breaking out of that ego hold that I've been living in. And I realized like that same type of videoing I did back sitting in my room, doing my voice memos where I was just like, I would listen to my videos back and I'm like, I hear you, Rachel, I hear you. I see what you see, right? <laughs> it's interesting, right? And um, beginning to believe that what I see, what I want, what I wanna do um, has value and um, that it's not in doing it perfect. It's not in not making a mistake. It's in not being judged. It's in, you know, all of that. It's just like staying true to what has been deposited in me, what I've heard God say over me, and to walk that out. Um, and I've been looking for like, God, I see things, but how do I step into it? Why do I see myself as not the right person or that it takes so much out of me to do what I'm called to do? Like, how can I click into a place where it's literally in my most natural state? I do the things I've seen myself do. Like that's been something I've been pressing towards um, just being more obedient um, to experience new things so that I can see the real me, right? And do it in peace and rest and joy and just um, an I amness and knowing that I'm enough. I think that's one of the biggest things. I am enough. Um, it's me. I'm qualified. I'm totally the one for the job, you know, and I'm, I'm still uh, embarking on the like going out like and like praying for people and just like making a difference and making contact with new people. I the biggest thing I feel in my heart is God is wanting me to go to new people. Go expand, go expand, get out of your comfort zone. Don't just talk to the people that you're comfortable talking to. Right. Go out and expand beyond. Uh, there's something else I want to show you. That's what I keep hearing. And um, I just feel like the more I yield to sharing what I'm hearing, hearing, you know, sharing what I'm hearing God say, speaking it, prophesying it as it is in the moment, like it's beginning to open up my life that I'm beginning to respect and value the um, natural flow of my voice. And that um, something really amazing girl, Ula, encouraged me um, from... She lives in Slovenia, which is incredible how God is bringing people together. And I'm honored to have met you if you're watching. But um, yeah, in RC Fellowship. But she was speaking over me just like about creativity and like how creativity is just like a free flow of it's not about perfect. It is perfect because it is what came out. It is what um, it's 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 who I am being expressed. Therefore, it's perfect. And, and trusting that my words are what they should be. It's what the spirit is releasing. It's what my heart has to say right now. And um, 
things have been just like clicking into place where as I choose the spontaneous flow, I choose to honor the way I'm wired, the way I'm created and um, to not try to be like somebody else or to feel like, hey, I have a deficit, so I'm going to major on my deficit and try to sure that up. It's like, no, I, God gave me my strengths. Like as an ESTP person, by the way, I'm using lingo. If you want to understand this more, head over to Typology Corner uh, YouTube channel and I have content on all of this. But in Myers-Briggs, I'm an ESTP personality type, which is SE, extroverted sensing, then introverted thinking. Like that's my dominant side of like who I am. And yeah, I very much compared myself to the opposite of myself and saw myself upside down and was trying to be really good at the other side of me instead of embracing who God created me to be and just knowing that God would fill in all the gaps, right? That God would do what what is out of my control, you know? And um, that that I'm enough as I am to show up as I am and that be what is of value, that be what creates change, that's what inspires. My heart is to inspire, to equip, to raise up leaders, to um, help people see their potential. And a big part of that, before you can love another person, you gotta love yourself. And this has been my journey of like coming to a place of knowing that I'm enough. And, um, that I'm qualified to show up right now. So this, yeah, this journey of living out loud. Um, I'm a person who's full of vision, full of passion, and I don't have to contain it anymore. And I encourage you, you don't have to contain yours anymore. And I just, I see my music taking off. I see a lot of things. Um, I'm working on an album as well. Um, I'm in the early stages of like, opening up my creativity, embracing my voice, and then embracing the music that I really want to create instead of the music I um, came to create. Um, so like the real me and, and what that is and to get back into it. So it's a bit of a journey of like beginning to love it again and it not be a chore. Um, so that's a process that's being worked out in me right now. But I believe all of this is connected. And um, I just... I'm a person I love to share like I love to share if if I learn something I will like turn around and tell everybody how it works so they can get over it too like hey guys I figured out how to get over this hurdle so like y'all don't have to go through you know 20 times of trying to figure it out this is a path that works so I'm it's not the only path but if you want to follow me I carved it like that pioneer thing like that that I, I, I always want to find something I'm always have my eyes out looking for something that will work for everyone work for um yeah everyone as in the people that god has called me to reach <laughs> so um something i can give to another person to make their journey um easier i feel like that's what we should do right um i think it's backwards thinking whenever like um one generation wants the next generation to suffer like why wouldn't you help them have a better start you know so in that same way, I just want to pick up on, there's a lot of things um, in my heart to talk about. Um, there's a lot of race related things that God has called me to talk about. Um, I've grown up very much uh, in such a way that my journey, I think will speak to a lot of people. Um, yeah, long story short, there's a lot as in God is having us move to Africa and like very, very short period of time in like the next couple years. And um man, I'm excited. I'm excited. There's a big picture of a lot of things, a lot of healing um, that I'm called to uh, for the black nation. And uh, there's been a lot of trauma through slavery. There's been all kinds of stuff that was done wrong that still is very jacked up. Um, that there's a lot of people still hurting that need to be healed. There's a lot of systemic problems that are still the way they are. And um, yeah, I want to heal a people group that is overlooked. Um, and uh, that's a big part of my heart. I just kind of bring into y'all on the channel things that I know are a big part of my future, a big part of what I'm called to talk on, what kind of difference I'm called to make, what kind of music I'm called to write. Um, there's, there's so much and I just, I want to not contain my voice anymore. And uh, yeah, there, there's a lot. 
and that's what this channel's for. Rachel Castile is my heart. It's my life. I want to share my life on this channel. I have a lot of YouTube channels, by the way, uh, for different things, different projects that I'm working on. Uh, but my heart for this one is my life. I want to share my life. I want to share the lives of others. I want to host other people here. I want to open up real discussions. I want to be real enough that other people can be real in this space and know that they're safe. And I'm learning that I'm safe in this space myself. So um, yes, as I grow, that's where I'm headed. That's what I want to do. And I want to take this GoPro on the road. I want to take it in people's living rooms. I want to set it up and say, hey, let's talk. Let's be on camera. And I want to feature people's stories. I want the real life to be shown, shown on here of a life of Holy Spirit moving in and through people and community and the work of the Spirit happening organically, not in no church walls, but just in life with people, family, healing, restoration, breakthrough, awakening. Um, all of that and um, I think having important conversations uh, really heals people and I want to start some really important conversations in time and yeah walk this out um, I, I just want to get in the trenches of the work that God has called me to do and I'm navigating what that looks like. And I believe a huge part of it is that um, being in alignment for me is doing it on camera, sharing it, um, starting a dialogue. Um, yeah, allowing um, us all to communicate and to talk on certain issues. I've done that on Facebook a lot recently about Holy Spirit being our mother, about us being divine, being a part of Elohim, the family of God. Um, and I believe... Uh, a lot of thoughtful discussions has started from that, um, supporting it, being against it. But I think that's what it's all about, is us beginning to discuss things and check and see if what we've been believing came from traditions of man, came from evil, came from things passed down. Was it the voice of God? Is this stuff in order? Or is it not? Um, these types of discussions, I want to like open up more and... I just feel this walls of like perfectionism falling off that like we can trust the flow of the spirit. We can trust our thoughts. We can ask God questions. We can talk about all of that. And um, that type of stuff is what I want to do on this channel. And um, yeah, so I just pray it's a blessing. I pray that this has been an inspiration to you in some way as you're just watching me open up, break open, uh, walls falling down. Me choosing to start my home business again has like begin to tear down this rejection stuff because I believe um, as we you know get beyond what somebody can do to me reject me support me all of that we begin to be freer to be who we are our voices are not limited and that's what I want for me and I want for other people um, I think change is very possible when we start having the right conversations and we do it with our whole hearts you know and uh, yeah so, um, yeah, speaking of my other channels, just a brief, real quick, just tell you about the other things if you're interested in it. Um, I have a life coaching business called Typology Corner. My website is typologycorner.com. I offer typing sessions on the Enneagram, on um, Myers-Briggs as well, MBTI. Um, and Enneagram coaching, I'm a certified Enneagram life coach. And um, you can meet with me on Zoom. You can book a free consultation if you want to just talk and learn more about the services or what your goals are, what you want to achieve. Um, and then we, we can set up um, a plan of action and get locked in to one-on-one -on -one coaching over Zoom, uh, one-hour sessions. That's something that I offer that's a major passion of mine. I want to help people break through. I want to help people see their gifts, know who they are, get unstuck, see a future that they want, and take tangible steps toward it. I want, that is a deep part of my heart. 
as well, I've just started another channel called Live Good with Rachel. There's a company called Live Good that is a wholesale membership, $9.95 a month, allowing you to get quality health products um, for incredible, affordable prices, high, high quality for a price that is reasonable. Um, and also that's something you're able to market as an affiliate for just $40 one time. And there's incredible, um, uh, income potential and impact potential in that so that's something that I'm I've uh, begun the journey in the last few weeks to raise up other leaders to break poverty off of people to um, help walk people into wealth that money is no longer an issue in their life that that they can accomplish everything in their heart to do and I believe this is a vehicle to get people there to a new start taking care of their body taking care of their vision and their purpose and um, living a life that they were meant to live. So that is something that's available to you. Um, the channel is Live Good with Rachel. And next, um, my music channel, Rachel Castile Music. That is where I'm doing spontaneous worship. Um, I'm, uh, I've written a few songs so far, but I've been putting out just sitting down at the piano, sitting with my guitar and just letting my heart flow. It's been, a uh, like I said before, a space for me to really allow my creativity to be birthed again allow myself to get out of this performance and perfectionism and just worship god and release what i'm hearing and um i'm on a journey that over the um over the year 2024 um, i'm wanting to put together my first album and release it sometime in 2025 so um, you can head over there and subscribe to that channel to watch that journey and just worship with me and uh, get free with me like just get on the journey with me um, I'm watching Holy Spirit do amazing things and uh, I want to share that with you um, yeah I have um, what is that four YouTube channels Rachel Castile um, Rachel Castile music live good with Rachel and then uh, typology corner so that is all there available to you um, feel free to add me on Facebook. I have the um, RC Fellowship Discord server in the description. That's the community. We um, meet every Saturday uh, just for fellowship, but it's a place to share all kinds of stuff and talk to people all throughout the week. That's there for you. Um, but yeah, get involved. Uh, get connected if you're not connected somewhere else. This is not a church. This is not... Um, you're not a member or, you know, if you pop in and out and all around and you're here and then you leave, that's fine. It's just picture it. This is my house. My door's open. Here's my address. And if you ever want to stop by, um, these are some different things that I offer and I'd love to speak with you whenever you feel led to speak with me. So, um, yeah, guys, um, I just, I just want to commit to be present, to be here with you guys and to um, walk fully in my calling and share my heart, share my love, share my passion with you guys, that it would spur you on in who you're created to be, um, in the voice that you're made to be, the things that you're called to, the mountains you're called to move. Um, I just, I want people to be free to live the life that they were created for, to not settle whatsoever. If something is, is binding break it step out of it choose life not death not bondage there is so much more you're created for and um, if anything I just want I just want this to be a place where you can grow a place that can inspire you that can um, just help you see something maybe from a new perspective that a place of light where you get to see yourself and you just run into it so that's my heart is that you get to where you're going and uh yeah guys um i'm also an uber driver so you'll get to see some of that maybe i'll share that a bit more too just like what god's doing out there and just get those conversations going be a bit more courageous in pulling out the camera um but yeah guys stay tuned stay tuned for more um again thank you for watching and i bless you um Thank you for spending time with me now and uh, I will see you on the next video. <laughs>